Hello World. I'm Maya Sundermeyer, and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my vlog series. So far, I have been able to share my own experiences on what it's like for me to live with Asperger's Syndrome. A second thing that I will do is give my two cents on what's going on with autism in the media. A third area entails providing tips and advice for those of you that are on the autism spectrum, as well as your friends and your family members, your peers and your mentors, and anybody who is in the community. And finally, I will cover topics and things that I'm passionate about. Now before I dive into tonight's topic, I have two things to mention. Number one, please be sure to click up here in the upper right hand corner. This is a video by a uh, organization called the uh, Asperger Experts. And the name of the entrepreneur goes by Danny Rady and he is on the spectrum himself. And this little video is all about something known as the sensory funnel which is what a lot of people with autism live with or they deal with. So for those of you that would like to get out of your comfort zone and learn how to grow, please be sure to check that video out because I think it's really critical. And I myself would be interested in taking some of the webinars that they have to offer. A second thing that I would like to recommend is that you guys check out my scholarly and practical application type vlogs. And these can be found on WordPress. And the address for that is helloworld240.wordpress.com. That's helloworld240.wordpress.com. And what I would like to do now is uh, share my experiences of living with autism. But first, you guys can see that I'm wearing a uh, Falcons uh, baseball, baseball style cap. And that is because I live in Atlanta, Georgia. And though I'm not the huge... Uh, Falcons fan that a lot of the people are around here. I'm actually a Minnesota Vikings fan because that's where I grew up. It is a really big deal to live in a city with a home team going to a great big game like the Super Bowl. And I'm also a fan of Super Bowl Sunday and I'm going to a party tomorrow uh, that my boss is putting on and he's asking everybody to bring an hors d'oeuvre. So what I'm going to do, or I have been doing, is uh, looking through the recipes to see what would be appealing. But I was thinking that uh, Georgia is part of the sunny south and that this is the peach state and we grow peaches and pecans here. I would like to bring a peach and pecan salad because I think it would be the most appropriate. But anyway, the reason why I wanted to bring that up is uh, to bring up a very important point. So. There are a lot of stereotypes out there about people with autism that we all live in our own little worlds. And what I just uh, proved to you guys is I posed a stereotypical threat. As you guys know, I'm not rocking back and forth. I'm not running around in a circle. I don't um, tend to ignore um, intimate objects or take any um, little notice of people. Yes, there are people with autism that do those things, but the reason why I yeah, pay attention to these things is because um, I had enough exposure to them and an exposure to other people and the interest of others is because I've been taught that uh, I need to start paying attention to the interest of others. I need to start looking at all the positive things that are in the news so that I don't sit around and constantly uh, show them things based on some Star Trek or Doctor Who or show them any details about uh, mathematics or astronomy for that matter. But rather, I want to uh, gain the interest of others so that uh, I can learn something new and expose myself to new things. And that, again, what I'm posing for you guys is a stereotypical threat. And I think it's so important to learn that there are lots of people with autism. Yes, um, we have a tendency to um, have one-track minds and get really fixated on things. But that doesn't mean that all people on the spectrum are going to face that. It really, really depends on the mentoring and the training. And it also really, really depends on um, how the brain is wired. And that's where you, neurodiversity comes in. So anyway, if you have any questions or comments, do not forget to uh, share what you think. And uh, 
For those of you that are internet trolls, welcome to my channel. Welcome to the world of learning. Um, don't be afraid of me. I won't bite. Just don't be rude. Uh, in the meantime, you guys could check out my uh, social media pages. I have a page on Facebook. And you can also find me on uh, Twitter at summergirl43. And you can also find me yeah, on Instagram at hello world with Maya S. Until next time, I'm Maya and I'm signing off now.